Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's see some of the techniques used to solve limits. Sometimes to solve limit is tricky, but then if you know these techniques, you can able to tackle any limit. Okay. Um, the first technique, direct substitution. Like most of the time, you have to use this one first. Use direct substitution and see whether it works. That's the first thing you should do. If direct substitution doesn't work, try factorization. Try to factorize the, the function and see whether it's something you can cancel out. Okay? If that doesn't work, you can also try L'Hopital rule. We will talk about that one. And also equivalent functions. So these are some of the texts that you can use to solve limits. Let's have some examples. If you have limits as x approaches 1, okay, these limits as x approaches 1, maybe let's say 2x approaches 1. Limits as x approaches 1, 2x plus 1. So if you see a limit like this, the first thing, just try and substitute and see whether it will work. So let's substitute and see. So it means like when x is approaches, approaches 1, what is the value of y? Because the value that you're going to have, that's the value of y, right? So let's substitute and see. This is equal to limit as x approaches 1, um, you can substitute in the value of x put 1, 2 times 1. Plus one. This is the first term. Limit. Um, we don't need to write. Huh? Okay, limit as x approaches one. Two times one, one two plus one three. So this is the first term. Three, because limit of a constant is always a constant. Okay. So in this case, only substitution can work. So that is the first thing that you're supposed to do when you encounter a limit. Try and substitute and see. If you substitute, you have something like 0 over 0. There is a problem if you have infinity over infinity. There is also another a, a problem. So these ones are called in the indeterminate forms. So if you substitute, you don't have something like this, then you are good to go. Okay? This direct substitution is very easy. If it works, then you are safe. Okay, let's see another another problem. For example, if we have limits as x approaches three, x minus three all over x square minus nine. Yeah, if you have limits like this. Let's try and substitute. Let's try and use the direct substitution and see. This will give us limits as x approaches 3. 3 minus 3 all over um, 3 square minus 9. This will give us 0 over 0. So this is in the general form. So this is from. You cannot use this. So that means you have to use one of the techniques to either to factorize, use the L'Hopital rule, or use the equivalent function. If you have something like 0 over 0, it's undefined. Okay? It's indeterminate. So you cannot use this method. You, you need to factorize. Let's try and factorize and see. Limit as x approaches 3, x minus 3, all over. We know that x squared minus 9 is the same as x squared minus 3 squared, right? And this is equal to, this is like difference of 2 squares. Limit as x approaches, x approaches 3, x minus 3 all over. Difference of 2 squares, you can write it something like this, x plus 3, x minus 3. So in this case, you can see, x minus 3 can cancel x minus 3 and you left with limit as x approaches 3 1 all over x minus x plus 3 so this is going to be 1 all over 3 plus 3 equals to 1 over 6 okay 
So now you don't have 0 over 0 or 0, right? So this is the technique of factorization. You can have a, like a more complex um, quadratic equation or polynomial. You just need to factorize and see whether something can cancel out. Let's see this example. Remember, the limits here is going to infinity, it's not going to zero, okay? Whenever you have a limit of x or something going to infinity, and you have two polynomials, maybe one on top and the other one down, and always the technique is divide, divide by degree of the denominator. The degree of the denominator is the variable that has the highest power, like the highest power of x, the degree of, of the equation. Okay? So we always divide by the degree of the denominator when x is going to infinity. Okay? So divide here by x square plus 4x square all over x cubed, sorry, s cubed plus 2 all over s cubed. All divided by here all over x cubed plus 5x square all over x cubed minus x uh, 3 over x cubed. Yeah. So, see, what, one thing you have to know that if you have a limit, x may be going to infinity of 1 all over x. X raised to the power, it can be x raised to the power n, where n is um, greater than, where n is greater than, um, is greater than 1, <coughs> or greater than 0. Okay? So if a limit, when x is greater than 0, this limit is going to 0. So for example, if you have a limit, as x approaches infinity of 1 all over n square, x square, this is 0. Okay? So any power, any power, if it is positive, that means this limit is going to 0. Okay? That's how what have, what have you, what, that's what you should understand. <coughs> so let's see. So we will see that this one is going to 0, this one is going to 0, this one is going to 0, this one is going to 0. And this one will cancel this, this will cancel this, and what you have, cancel the 3 over 7. So that's the technique. Always divide by the degree of the denominator. Okay? So basically, if the powers are the same, so the answer will be the coefficient, they are coefficient. Okay, let's see another example. So we see we see that x is going to infinity, right? And we have Two polynomials. So the technique is divided by the degree of the denominator. This is going to be limit as x approaches infinity. 3x square all over s cubed minus 2x over s cubed minus 1 all over s cubed. All over. 2x cubed all over x cubed minus x squared all over x cubed plus 5 all over x cubed. So we notice that we know that this is going to 0, this is going to 0. Um yeah, even this one is going to 0. This is also going to 0, this is also going to 0. Right? So we only have this one, this will cancel out. We only have Two in the denominator, so this is going to be zero all over two, which is going to be zero. Okay, let's see another example. Um, you always have to consider that x is going to infinity. Okay, if you have x is going to infinity and polynomial over polynomial, just divide by the degree of the denominator. Okay, so this is going to limit as x approaches infinity. Two x cubed all over x square minus x square all over x square plus 5 all over x square all over 3x square all over x square minus 2x all over x square 
Nein, I don't know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, we know that this one, this one is one, right? This is one, and uh, this is going to infinity. Uh, this is going to zero, sorry. And uh, this is this will cancel this. Um, yeah, this is going to zero. This is going to zero. So what we have now? Two will cancel, and you will have two x, right? You will have two x all over what? All over three. This is 2x minus 1 all over 3. So if we have limits as x approaches infinity of 2x minus 1 all over 3. Infinity, remember, infinity is a very big number. Okay? If you substitute it here, infinity times anything is infinity. Infinity minus any number is infinity. And infinity divided by any number is also infinity. So this is going to be infinite. Okay, um, finally, let's summarize almost what we have done. Um, if you have a function, x is going to infinity of a polynomial over a polynomial. Basically, this is summary. The answer you will get, it will be a1 over b1 when the powers are the same. It means when n is equals to n. When n is equals to n, if you divide it by the uh, degree of denominator, you will, you will find out that you will only left with a1 and b1. Okay? So your answer will be 0 if n is greater than m. You will see that if n is greater than m, if you divide it by uh, the, denominator, the degree of denominator, you will end up getting 0. And... If n is less than m, the answer will be infinity. So, what you need to know, don't know that this is a rule. When n is going to in, x is going to infinity of 1 all over x all over n, where n is greater than 0, where n is positive, then your answer will be zero. Because infinity is a very light number. One all over x raised to the power infinity. Anything raised to the power infinity, of course, is a very big number. So this is, mm, sorry, infinity. This is going to be infinity over n. Okay? Of course, this is going to be one all over infinity. Because infinity or raised to the power n is still a big number. And big number divided by 1, this will go to 0. Thank you very much for watching. If you find it interesting and you like it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.